keep kind of keep your mics on mute throughout the presentation. If you have any technical issues, please pop it in the chat and one of the members of the team will look at it for you and be able to help you. You're welcome to have your cameras on if that's what you want to do. Any questions, please direct them to the chat or the Q&A function and we'll discuss at the end. There'll be time for questions at the end and we encourage discussion throughout the presentation. The presentation will be recorded and shared with you after the event. At the end of the presentation, there will be a poll. This will appear on the screen. Could you please answer the questions for us? Thank you. So what we're covering to looking at today is academic reference writing for UCAS. Um, the reason we're doing that now that UCAS is open for the 2021 cycle, um, we thought this may be useful for some of you. So what is an academic reference? What are universities looking for? It is your honest, fair and relevant assessment of the candidate's potential to succeed at, high, at a higher level in the chosen subject. Any factors may influence the, subject, the student's performance. Please remember that students can obtain a copy of the reference from UCAS along with any other personal information they hold. Who writes the reference? Written by a member of staff from the school or the college who knows the candidate and his or her performance. A teacher who may teach them, a tutor who has contact with the student on a daily basis. Usually the progression form tutor collates the information from subject teachers and other members of the team including support services and assembles the reference for you. So what to think about when writing the reference? Things to include um, what to do in UCAS. The predicted grades will be in there. A bit about your school or college. No, if you haven't got too much room to talk about your school or college, maybe you have a, a statement on your website where you can point um, the tutors to. Academic content and suitability for the course is important. Predicted grades. Um, ensure that you are putting in all their predicted grades when you start their reference. Um, this will also in, be included in here is what the students have included on their qualifications. So ensure that they both match up. The predict grade is the teacher's prediction of the grade that the applicant is expected to achieve in each subject based on all the evidence of the applicant. On what base, what you need to think about is on what basis are you informing the predicted grades? It's important that you know the answer to those questions. What to include about the student? Existing achievements, particular attention to the subjects, motivation and commitment, relevant academic or extracurriculum achievements, independent learning skills right now, and communication skills are really important. Relevant work experience, maybe placement or volunteering, or even if they've done any really great virtual blogging or web starting stuff at the, in the current climate. If the student is involved with writing participation or is a gifted and talented student, remember to make sure that this is discussed in the person's, as discussed in the personal statement and then you are backing the student up with this information. Personal qualities about the student, the suitability for the chosen course. Those, be they, those beneficial for university, strength, strength in the application, career ambition, if it is agreement, comment on the suitability. If, if not sure of the applicant's career choice, just comment on performance and suitability for the university. The last paragraph should be really powerful and about the student so that whoever's reading that personal, that reference, they are really getting to know the student. Top tips, read students' applications, talk to them first. What are their aspirations? What are their experiences? Give real life examples, including students' contribution to specific projects. Student, ensure that you've got the student's consent to disclose any personal information if they, are, if they have a disability or they need additional support. Only include this information if you've got the consent from the student. A good tip is maybe create a questionnaire before you even start writing your 
references. What, and then maybe things to include is what is the biggest success so far for your students if they're an A-level student, a B-tech student or an access student? Ask them that question. Give them an example. Also ask for them to give you an example of how they have exhibited the following, maybe leadership, communication, independent learning, and their time management skills. All of those things. Ask them for that information in your questionnaire. Make the questionnaire short and snappy um, with a deadline date on that. So that this gives you enough time to be able to go through this before you start writing the reference for them. What not to do? Refer to any course or institution specifically. Avoid repetition unless commenting on something. Do not copy and paste references because this is very obvious to universities. And please don't rush in. As Bob Saville said, references are an important part of the application, but in marginal cases, they are vital. They can make the difference between getting a place or not. So it is really important for the student to ensure that you have taken your time to get to know your student before you're writing the reference. Other things to include, the content of the qualifications being studied, how the course is taught, their learning style, how the course is assessed, the duration of the qualification. Give details of the content of the subject, maybe if this is necessary. And maybe you want to talk about how you've got to the predicted grades for the student. If applicable, state that you will provide a, an additional reference at a later stage if that's what the university wants, because some universities do ask for another reference halfway through the cycle. Will your student cope with extended writing examinations? Those are the sorts of things that universities are looking for as well. And if the student left a few years ago, make sure that you mention that and comment on the performance and the potential that you knew when you knew them at. If you've got any further questions, you can ask for advice from us. Your students can get to us and talk to us on a daily basis. We are there on chat, talk to Z from 9 to 3 p.m. We also have our admissions team on hand from 9 to 5 on our chat functions within our website. So again, if you've got any questions about someone's admissions, please contact them and get your students to contact us. We have live chat going all the time. To date, we've had over 62,000 questions from people that um, are talking to our course ambassadors. So it's really important that if your students are still unsure, got some questions about their course specific, they can contact us um, and we'll put them in touch with students. Join our community. We've, we've recently relaunched our pages. We've got Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Please join us where we will have free guidance, free resources, latest information about us. Um, thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? We've got an open day tomorrow, so if you've got anybody that um, has still asked some questions, they can come to an open day. Has any the room for the meeting? Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Let's have a look. I can't see any questions. Um, does anybody want me to answer anything else for you? I'm happy to do that. Please let me know. Oh, here we go. Will this PBX be available? Yes, after the presentation, um, maybe in the next day or so, we will put this together and we'll be emailed to you. So any other questions coming in? There's a poll just been launched. Um, how did you find it today, the presentation? Was it useful? Was it quite useful or was it not useful? Could you please answer that honestly? It is um, anonymous, so we don't see that. And I hope you enjoyed it. And after this, if there's no further questions in the moment, please let me know. Is there any more questions? Um, yeah. Hi. 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 Thanks. Thanks. I'm just wondering, what would you suggest students can do to 
as an alternative to work experience because a lot of year 12s but won't be able to do work experience now what sort of advice would you have for things they can put into their references and personal okay. statements to work yeah. experience yeah i mean um i did um start to elaborate a bit on that um maybe if, if have they been involved with um maybe online stuff for instance if they've been blogging if they've been doing some particular projects at at school or college right now is there anything that they've done in addition to their normal school yep. work that maybe will be able to um they'll be able to include more on their reference uh, on their personal statement and then you guys will be able to include on their reference maybe okay do you know like if they're yep. because some some students have done some really great stuff quite recently uh, for instance, um, our students are working at home right now. They was asked to put col our yeah. fashion students quite recently was asked to put collages together with particular material from home and then bring it back. And then um, when we are back in university in um, later on in the year, hopefully, um, they'll be able to put all of this work on display to show what they did during lockdown. Yeah. And in terms of MOOCs, um, are students, or is it okay for students to be done MOOCs qualifications? Um, if online, they put down what I couldn't hear that online online courses that have completed MOOCs. yeah I mean anything like that anything that they've done in a, a, additional is great for them because it shows they're motivated and and they still want to learn you see yeah thanks has anybody else got any further questions um, do you, are there any resources um, that we could we can use for reference building that would help um, tutors that you have? Um, you guess have course? got some great stuff on their website actually um, cool. and they've got great videos on their website there is some information there. Um, so where, sorry where is that? Nothing um, I'll have it um, we may have some more resources um, from like the student room and places like that I'll have a look and then I'll ask my colleague when they send this out to email it out to you guys. Thanks. Some links that may be useful. Um, for example, would you have any bank of poor examples of references uh, so with different reviews of different references? Yeah, um, I don't, but I'm sure we can get that information for you. I can, uh, I will pull something together for you and we'll make sure it comes out to you. Thanks. Is there any more questions? Anyway, thank you for joining us today. I'm now going to um, stop the live session. Um, and if you need us, please get in touch with us. Thank you. Well, there's some more questions. Come in. Sorry, I didn't see these. Are there any reference for resources that are okay? Um, as I just said to um, somebody else that mentioned it, um, I will pull some resources together and we'll get that sent out to you with the presentation. And I just answered the question about work experience.